Hi everyone, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm actually coming on with a wonderful surprise that I received in the mail. Um, I don't know how, maybe about a week ago, I was contacted by a woman, her name is Louise, and she asked if um, I'd like to do a, a journal swap with her. So I said, sure, never done a journal swap before, kind of always wanted to do one. So um, she had told me she's gonna send first um, her package and if I like it um, I can do one and send one back but if I don't I can just keep her journal but of course you know I'm definitely sending one back because um, that's just that's what a swap is you swap but I was happily delighted that I absolutely loved what she sent so um, let me actually just show you let me take this out hold on because I did um, I did open up and I looked through it already, but then I also um, had contacted her just to ask if it was okay for me to do a video, and she said yes. So I'm excited to show um, what she sent to me. So let me put this one aside first because I had a lot of goodies in there. So this is, look at this journal. How cute is this? It's like a little felt cactus. And then it's actually, it's open here. So if I wanted to stick something in the front there, I definitely could. And then I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but there's sewing all around the edges. And then there's fabric on the cover. And then inside, look at this paper. I love the inside paper. So pretty. And then there's some book paper or book pages. It's definitely vintage. You can tell by the pictures. And the nice thing about this, and here's a coloring page. Well, actually, she did send a little bag of like goodies, like ephemera that you can decorate with. So um, if I wanted to, I can definitely add some pockets or tuck spots or stickers or, you know, whatever I want to. But the thing about journaling, well, for me, is that I do like a lot of space where I can journal. So I'm not even sure if I'm going to embellish this too much because all this extra writing room is perfect for me. So we have another book page. I love the bright colors. Look at this one here. How cute are these little animals? And you could color this if you wanted to. Or I could color it if I wanted to, I should say. <laughs> and then we have some music sheet paper, um, some more colored paper. Here's the middle of the signature. And then, of course, it repeats itself again. So I'm kind of debating on whether I want to keep it plain or just decorate it slightly. So I'm not sure because I do love journaling. So the more empty space I have, it's actually really perfect for me. And then on these types of pages, um, I would probably put pictures. So I have to think about exactly what I'd want to put in my journals, but I'm just having fun flipping through the journal for now. <laughs> so that is this one. So I thought this was the journal. Then I noticed this little bag here and it's definitely handmade because it's so super cute and it's actually it looks like the same stitching on the outside of um, the big journal. So I said, ah, what is in this? Look at these goodies in this one here. First of all, let's talk about this bag. I love this material. I love this pattern, the flowers. It's like vintagey looking, but it's material. I don't know if that makes sense. That's so cool. I love that. So this is just such an extra surprise. Um, let me make sure I'm in frame. Okay, good. I still am. All right. So then I opened this and I thought, ah, oh, what is all of this? So this, um, oh, and this is my little note. Hold on. Let me just put that aside for now. There are these two little journals and then a whole bag of ephemera and stuff like that. So let me put that there for now. And let's do this one. Can I talk about how creative this cover is? So you have the leaves, you have the little, um, I don't know if they're like little frogs or bugs because there's a frog on the front of this. And I said, oh, that's cute. And then we have this here. And then I realized, look at this. There's a little tag and a little, um, a little quote here. 
uh, the creation of something new is not accomplished by the intellect, but by the play instinct acting from inner necessity. The creative mind plays with the object it loves. And it was by Carl Jung. I love that writing. I wonder if she must have written that. It's very fancy. But, I mean, how cool is that? And then you tuck it right back in this little tuck spot. But it all kind of comes together. Like, you know what I mean? Like the cover piece. And then beautiful fabric um, for the cover. And then you open it. And inside here, there's a little tiny pocket. And, you know, you could write something on this. And then tucks in here. And, of course, and there's, it's, um, open behind there too so you have two little spots to tuck and then some stickers on there love this little paper of the little fairy flying watering her flowers and again I realized all her, the journals are plain because I can put whatever I want in, like in terms of embellishments in them but like I said before with the other one I don't know if I'm going to embellish too much. I might use some because I did look through this slightly. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, there are a lot of cute things in there. So I'm going to have to see. Look at that. How cute. Um, what I want to use and then what I want to keep for writing space. Because this one has lots of writing space as well as the other two. And that's what I really like. Um in my journals so plenty plenty of writing and look at this this was it is actually textured I feel like I don't know it's some kind of paint I'm thinking really cool and then look at these little little fairy angels and then here's the middle and it has some little um, circles on it there There's the back side of the card. And then again, here is that other side of the painted page. And again, all this wonderful, wonderful writing room. And there's another little card that you can write on there. And another little tag here. And, oops. and then the back again and I love the feeling of this so how cute is this little one and then it gets even smaller and I love the small ones so this one it has little uh, embellishment on the front and this cardstock I don't know if she embossed it or it came like this but it's embossed and here's it looks like pattern paper and here's a little bag. I love the pattern on this bag. I could tuck something small in there. Let me just look, make sure I am still in frame. Oh, good. I am. Um, and again, just like the other ones, plenty and plenty of writing room. And these are just so cute. I love the little books. This is one you could actually put in a purse because it's so small. And it would just stay together nicely. And a lot of these... They look like um, watercolored pages or painted pages, some kind of paint, because you can feel it. It feels, there's a texture to it. It's really cool. Or sprayed. Maybe it's sprayed. I'm not sure. Painted or sprayed. And then here's the back side of the bag. And you could tuck something right in there. And then the back. So how cute are these little journals? And then, here is, look at this. I'm not going to, it's clipped on the front, but oh, I love that. Love it. And now I'm actually going to be able to see everything. And I sort of tried to peek a little bit, um, but I didn't take everything out because I was afraid I couldn't get it back in. So we have some different colored paper clips, which I love colored paper clips. And then look at these. So this is made with a dime wrapper love that 
Um, here's another little, oh, this is like a little file folder type thing. And it's embellished on the front. There's a butterfly, a scallop punch there. There's a little um, banner in the background, a little tag there. So you could definitely put this on a page and use it as a tuck spot. And then here is kind of like um, a little, like a notepad that you can use to, oops, journal or make lists or something like that or use as a bookmark. You could do that too. And then, oh, how cute is this? Oh, it's a little envelope. Oh my gosh, I love that. Look at that. And then you could put something on the front, um, maybe what's inside or something like that. I love, this is a really cute envelope. Oh, so cute. And then here we have a little altar tag. Oh, and this is, looks painted too. Very cool. I love the different textures, the staples with the string. It's just, and you can journal on the back. Just my kind of tag. And here we have, oh, a little canoe, I'm thinking. This is the paddle, and it's felt, which is really nice. And, oh, you could put little pictures here. And then you could even glue it onto a page so you could open it. But then if you only glue down this side and this side, you could tuck something in there as well. So that's pretty cool. And then look at these. I I started using these because um, one of my friends, Alicia, she gave me, actually they're right here, these. And so I started using them because they kind of, you know, just put a little pop of color any, you know, on a page. So I really like those. And now here are some um, square ones and some little circular ones. So those are super cool. And then, oh, some Rolodex cards. Oh, there's another paper clip. And they have the plastic on them. So that's cool. Because I have Rolodex cards. I just don't have any that have the plastic on it. Oh, that's fun. So those could make, you could alter these. You can use them as tuck spots. You know, all different ideas with that. And then a nice little, um, like a scallop circle tag. That could also be turned into a tuck spot. Yeah, there's so many ideas. So many like, and that's that's actually a nice idea to leave a journal blank, but send along like a little goodie bag. So that way the person, they could basically, they have all the tools to finish the journal and then it'd be their own sort of personal touch. So even if they didn't actually create the physical journal, they can finish their journal with, you know, adding their own pockets, their own embellishments, their clips, you know, everything like that. So that is such a good idea. But, you know, like I was saying before, um, I'm not sure if I am going to use... Well, actually, I probably will use some of these in the journals, but I just like the fact that there's just so much journaling room, actual journaling room, which I love. Um, so, yeah. And I love the three different sizes. All right, let me see if I'm in frame. Oh, I still am. I, I keep saying that. I think as long as I stay on the placemat, I'll be in frame. <laughs> and they're all so unique. Each of them is so different from the next. And I mean, the covers. There's there are three different types of colors, uh, covers, three different styles, um, materials, everything. So it was such a surprise. Because honestly, I was just um, thinking that it would be one journal that I was swapping. But... She definitely surprised me, and oh, I'm so glad that she reached out to me for this because it's just so fun to have a creation by somebody else, um, and it just, I love it. I absolutely love it. I mean, the covers give me such great ideas, um, the different types of papers, because I usually just do coffee dyed paper, you know, and regular paper ledger paper stuff like that but how in some she had um like a card I think it was this one there's an actual like a greeting card inside oh yeah whoops right here I mean I have lots of cards I never thought about doing that as a page but that's such a good idea plus like the painted pages 
I mean, I have sprays, I have, I, I do have some paints, but you know, things like that never cross my mind until I see it actually in person. And then I'm like, oh, it's like a little light bulb goes off. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? So Louise, if you are watching, thank you, dear, so, so much. I mean, this was such a treat and such an honor to receive these three journals from you. And I am currently working on yours. And when yours is ready, I'll let you know and I'll ship it out to you. So thanks everybody for watching. Louise, thank you again for everything. And um, your package will be on its way soon. See you in the next video. Bye.